Most people don't think twice about their moles, but some moles called dysplastic or atypical nevi deserve a closer look. These aren't your average moles as they harbor precancerous cells and have a potential to turn into melanoma. They often have uneven shapes, irregular edges, and multiple shades of color making them stand out, but unfortunately not always. And here's something many people don't realize. A typical nevi are often flat. And because of that, people tend to dismiss them as freckles. And these are the ones that are important to monitor. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board certified general surgeon and IFM certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, functional medicine, supplements, the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share, and subscribe. So talking about these atypical holes, I have to say that very often they are small. They could be the size of a pencil eraser, somewhere between four to six millimeter. And of course, most people tend to dismiss them and they pay attention to the raised spots. Uh, they usually bring up the raised spots. And why? And I understand why, because the raised skin spots, they are aesthetically just less attractive. So it makes sense to focus and be concerned about them. Although in some cases, melanoma and other cancers can be raised, that's true. In many cases of atypical moles, when they're still atypical, where they're still precancers, these moles are actually completely flat. For example, if you have them on your back, you will not be able to feel them, to palpate them as they're not protruding. They're also small enough, they could be small enough that you will have difficulty or will not be able to see them well in the mirror. Actually, the smallest melanoma that I have diagnosed at our clinic was two millimeter, and it's like two dots next to each other or like um, two periods in a word text document. It's again, common during skin check for a patient to focus on benign protruding and raised spots. And meanwhile, for me, the most important thing is to map out the flat moles. And sometimes these raised spots are important because again, some cancers could be raised, but they are not the main focus of the mole mapping. In fact, if you have a raised melanoma, it is often at the very advanced stage. And of course, the sad part that it should have been diagnosed when it was a flat atypical mole. How do we diagnose these atypical moles? To assess whether a mole is concerning, we use a tool called thermoscope, and uh, it's like a microscope that you see details uh, like dots, streaks, or uneven pigmentation. So if something looks unusual, a biopsy is done to check for atypia and melanoma. On that note, Atypical nevi can be categorized into mild, moderate, and severely atypical, and their management depends on the level of atypia. Mildly atypical moles have slight irregularities in color and structure, and they're considered low risk. If a biopsy confirms mild atypia, of course, I usually remove them, but in some cases, if patient has many mildly atypical moles, these moles could be monitored as long as the patient is compliant. The probability of a mildly atypical mole of turning into cancer is actually low. Then we have moderately atypical nevi, and these are more concerning. While they're still not melanoma, obviously, they have an increased potential for transformation. These moles need to be completely removed with negative margins, but very narrow margins. Then we have severely atypical nevi, and uh, they are more irregular and they actually resemble early melanoma on the microscope when analyzed by the pathologist. Because of these, these moles are looked at as pre-melanoma and they are very concerning. They are excised with wider, with bigger margins, and the scar is monitored. Removing them, of course, reduces the risk of potential malignant transformation and patients with severely atypical nevi moles should be followed with skin check several times a year. This plastic nevi can increase the risk of melanoma and obviously the melanoma is the most serious type of skin cancer. So if you have actually five or more atypical nevi, especially along with a family history of melanoma, your risk for melanoma is higher. However, having just one or two atypical, like mildly atypical nevi doesn't mean that you will develop skin cancer. So basically pay attention to moles that change over time. 
Interestingly, some patients believe when they come for a skin check, check that the main thing is to check, at, look at the scar from the previously removed atypical mole. Yes, of course, we do check the scar for a recurrence. That's important. However, the main goal is to look for possibility of other atypical mold, as this patient may have developed more atypical molds since we saw them. Another important component of skin check is the quantity of the moles. We actually have some patients at our clinic who have 500 to 1,000 moles just on their back alone. Unfortunately, having many moles does increase the risk of both precancerous transformation and development of melanoma. That's why these patients need to be checked more frequently than just once a year, especially if they already had a history of atypical mold. Many of them have actually not history of one mold, but several, and they have atypical nevi syndrome that is conditioned with multiple dysplastic nevi, and that, of course, increases their melanoma risk. Interestingly, dysplastic nevi can develop anywhere on the body, but are often found on sun-exposed areas like back or chest. They can also appear in unexpected places, such as the scalp or buttocks. People with lighter skin and history of sunburns, which is very common, are more likely to develop atypical moles. And this, of course, reinforces the importance of sun protection using sunscreen, wearing protective clothing, and avoiding excessive sun exposure. Um, you know, that all plays a role in reducing risk. So how do we know if the mole is something to be concerned about? The most important factor is whether the mole is new or changing. Everybody has moles with irregular borders or slight variation in color. But what truly matters is whether a mole is evolving, growing, darkening, or taking on a different shape over time, or if it's a new mole. So basically, if a mole starts to change, it's time to see your doctor. If you have dysplastic nevi, don't ignore them. Regular skin checks, both at home and with a medical professional, are key. Some protection is essential. And most importantly, Importantly, pay attention to changes in your molds because early detection makes a lot of difference. So if you found this information helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more insights on skin health. And please share your thoughts about atypical molds in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.